Everybody loves cartoon characters. Well, except for Eddie Valiant. He hates them. Years ago, his brother was killed when a tune dropped a piano on his head. Eddie's a private detective, and he's on the case of the murder of Marvin Acme, the head of Toontown and the Acme Corporation. That would be the fictional Acme, you know, from all those classic Warner Brothers cartoons. Well, a cartoon rabbit named Roger is framed for the murder. Will Eddie be able to clear the poor rabbit's name and save his life? Or will his own prejudice against Toons step in the way of justice? That's the plot of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It's a masterful hybrid of live action and animation, comedy and film noir, and it's directed by Robert Zemeckis and produced by Steven Spielberg. Bob Hoskins does a great job as Eddie, and Christopher Lloyd is magnificent as the villain Judge Doom. It's no wonder why Zemeckis chose him, because they already worked together on Back to the Future. Of course, Christopher Lloyd played Doc Brown. And you know, there might be a little foreshadowing towards the second Back to the Future movie. Check this out. Traffic jams will be a thing of the past. Oh, you mean like flying cars? Anyway, this movie was a big deal when it first came out in 1988 because the live actors seemed to really be interacting with the animated characters. And when the camera moves, the animation is timed impeccably. It wasn't the first time it was done, but here it was perfected. It's still impressive today. I don't understand how they were able to pull this off so flawlessly. All around, it's a tribute to the golden age of animation. There's so many famous characters making cameos, and they're all owned by different companies. Disney, Warner Brothers, Universal, and more. I mean, wow, Donald Duck and Daffy Duck share a little scene together. And then there's Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny. It's just a really cool and rare thing when all these companies can set aside their competition and join forces for once. I was young when this movie came out. I loved it back then, but it took me till my adult years to be able to appreciate it fully and look back and realize how unique it really was. In fact, it's not really a kid's film. I mean, it can be, but it's geared towards adults, too. There's drinking and swearing. Jessica Rabbit's breasts are bouncing all over the place. Speaking of that, here's one of my favorite gags. Check this out. Nice booby trap. I was about eight years old when I saw this, and I laughed and laughed. I thought the term booby trap was funny before, but this was the first time seeing it literally. Who Framed Roger Rabbit has a little bit of everything. It's a murder mystery that just happens to have cartoon characters. It has some darkness and drama, but it's also lighthearted and funny. I gotta admit, I hadn't seen it in about 20 years. I feared it would be dated, but I gave it another watch, and I'm proud to say it still holds up.